Welcome back to Easy Robotech. In continuation of our previous video on configuring the Morpho Manager and different authentication modes for door access, we covered adding devices and setting up user authentication policies. In this video, we'll delve into configuring device profiles, adding users with various authentication mode, and testing them with live demo kit. Firstly, let's dive into configuring the device profile. Navigate to Biometric Device Profile in the left menu and choose either to create a new profile or modify the default. Here I will modify the default profile, so select the profile and click on Edit. Enter the required details and proceed by clicking on Next. Here adjust settings such as selecting Standard 26-bit for vegan profiles. If you are integrating with WindPark or Genetech, you should must change the vegan profile to 26 bits then click on next. Adjust the specified setting in the multi-factor configuration window to enable the acceptance of access cards by the biometric device. In the multi-factor mode, choose custom and set contactless smart card mode to device. Then select checkboxes for biometric, MyFair Classic and MyFair DES Fire AES. Then click finish to complete the configuration. Once you've completed configuring the device profile, Return to the biometric device section and verify the queue tasks to ensure that the device configuration been uploaded into device. Once the device downloads the new profile, it will restart and then come online, ready to function with the configured profile. Before moving on to user registration, make sure you have a registration device connected to your computer. If you lack a dedicated registration device and wish to utilize the biometric device for registration purposes, let's configure your IDMIA biometric device as a registration device by navigating to Clients. Choose Client Computer and click on Edit. Then input client computer details such as Name, Description and Location. Then proceed to the next step by clicking on Next. In this window, select tabs for displayed for the client and click Next. Choose a camera from the drop-down list for user picture capture, if any. And click on Next. In the Enrollment Device window, configure biometric registration settings by selecting Morpho Access for Contact Enrollment. Then click Search to locate the added IDMIA biometric device, choose it. Then proceed. For Access Card Registration, set Smart Card Encoding as Morpho Access, search for the added biometric device, select it, and click Next. Complete the configuration by clicking Finish. To proceed with User Access Registration, navigate to User Management and click on Add to create a new user. Then choose the User's Policy from drop-down list, which we were created in the previous video. For example, I will select Bio only, which indicating the user can access the door using only biometric data. Then enter personal information, such as name and date of birth. Then click on Next. Here, provide additional details, like job title and address. Then click on Next. For the vegan value or number, either enter a number or generate it by clicking Randomize. This value or ID can be used for third-party integration, for instance, with ID near Morpho Biometric into Honeywell's Winpack or ProWatch. Once you have the value or ID, save it. And click on Next. Capture or import the user's photo and proceed to enroll fingerprints by selecting any finger. Once finger chosen, the device will blink its LED. Scan the finger to complete the registration, as shown on the screen. Once the registration is completed, you'll be prompted to review the quality of the scanned fingerprint as displayed on the screen. After reviewing, click on Next. And finally, click on Finish. Once this process is complete, the newly added user will appear in the list. Repeat the same steps to register the next user with user policy as card only. This means the users registered with this policy can access the door by simply swapping the access card on the IDMIA biometric device. At this point, there's no need to scan any fingerprint since we are adding user as card only. 
just click on finish to encode the smart card. Also you can see the reader LED starts blinking. Once the card encoded, you will have a pop-up message on screen. As successfully encoded, click on OK to close the pop-up. Once the user is added, their details will be displayed in the list as demonstrated on my screen. Now, let's repeat these steps to register another user, this time with a user policy set to bio and card. This policy requires users to use both authentication methods to unlock the door. First, they need to swipe their card and then scan their fingerprint. After completing the fingerprint registration, click on Finish and encode the access card. Upon registration completion, the new user will be visible in the list as showcased on my screen. Once more, let's go through the same steps to register another user, this time with a user policy set to bio or card. This allows users to access the door using either authentication mode. They can swipe the card or scan their fingerprint. In both cases, the door will be unlocked. At this point, scan the fingerprint by selecting the finger. And after fingerprint registration, click on Finish and encode the access card. After completing the registration, the user will appear in the list, just as you can see on my screen. Once all users are added, let's proceed to a test. I have all the cards added earlier in this video. I'll demonstrate different authentication modes. First, a test with fingerprint only. Then card only. followed by card and fingerprint. And finally, card or fingerprint. After testing all added users, let's return to Mopo Manager to retrieve logs from the device by clicking Get Logs and waiting for the download. As you can see, access is granted for all users. I hope this demonstrates is enough for you to configure the Mopo Manager by yourself without any further support. In the upcoming video, We'll explore integrating Morpho Manager into Honeywell's WinPark access control system. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.